I'm going to argue that entrepreneurialism isn't a choice. This may seem a rather peculiar position to take, but in my eyes, entrepreneurialism is a function almost of DNA. It's something in the person, at least when manifested as the most accomplished entrepreneurs, that drives that individual to be a nonconformist, not by deliberation, not by intention, but simply because he or she sees the world differently. Where others simply see the way things are, the hardcore entrepreneur sees what should be. And in that different perception lies an enormous problem. As a nonconformist, as one that sees problems where others don't, traditional employment, in a sense, is unattainable. The best entrepreneurs, arguably, are unemployable, not because of the dearth of competency, almost the antithesis. It's because their competency so eclipses a structured environment that they cease to strive in that which confines their creativity. Now, arguably, there's a tad bit of crazy in the greatest of entrepreneurs. And that's not a bad thing. That I don't see that as a pejorative comment. Rather, I see entrepreneurialism as the purest pursuit of personal passion. In other words, the entrepreneur's DNA, at least the serial entrepreneur who's driven to it by compulsion, is someone who is driven to make the world better one increment or one giant leap at a time. They're the unsatisfied among us. I don't believe thus that entrepreneurialism should be a choice. I think it should be something that occurs simply because we cease to function well unless we're pursuing that which somehow invigorates our souls. We're the opposite as a breed, perhaps, to those who can sit in a cubicle. Not to say that that's a horrible thing to do, it's to say that perhaps through the magic of ADHD or through the magic of a DNA error, we don't manage well unless stimulation is at an extraordinary level. But I'd also argue that entrepreneurialism in its purest form is responsible in a large degree for the at least significant differentials experienced in the daily grind. It's a wonderful pursuit. It's magical when it works, but a word of caution to the people perhaps contemplating this weird activity. If it isn't in your nature, if it isn't, then don't be the CEO, don't be the chief evangelist, perhaps be the employee number 12. Experience entrepreneurialism by close proximity. But on the other hand, if you're constantly paying because you're not making the world better as you see fit, perhaps you should find the means, the mechanism, the way, the network to raise the capital and make real the fantasies in your brain currently. Make them tangible as opposed to merely the whiling away of the day in thoughts of what should be.